Yo, what is up everyone? Yoda Dude 2003 here, and today I have something very special to share with you. I'm sure you all remember Creature Toy, a dare I say it, groundbreaking tool made for the PC version of LEGO Star Wars the video game that basically makes you the god of the game. And I don't mean this as hyperbole or clickbait either. That's literally what it is. The tool attaches to the game and gives you a list of all the characters, or as the game's code refers to them, creatures, and basically allows you to kill, possess, or teleport any single one of them, as well as spawn as many more as you want. To celebrate its initial release, I did a two hour long interactive livestream that allowed the viewers to interface with the tool through the Twitch chat and basically make playing the game living hell for me. After that, the project has sat dormant, with many fans tossing around the idea to make a similar tool for LEGO Star Wars 1's successor, The Complete Saga. Well today, my friends, you will wait no longer because the official Creature Toy V1.1 is well on its way with many brand new features planned, chief among them being support for LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. In this video, I'll basically show you all what I've gotten done so far, just to hype it up a bit and give you something to look forward to. Before I do that though, I want to give a big shout out to my good friend Polly, who has contributed literal days of her time to the project, helping out with research, debugging, and more. This project would still be in very early stages if it weren't for her being able to work on all that stuff at the same time as me coding up the tool. She's the real MVP, and I'd hate for all her work to go unnoticed, so leave some nice words for her in the comments. I'm sure she'll love it. So with all that out of the way, let's check out Creature Toy for the complete saga. Alright, so here I do just a quick showcase of all the features I've implemented so far into the tool. Here I am showcasing how to spawn a bunch of characters, which is a feature that was one of the main selling points of the initial version. And here in Jabba's room, I can actually kill Jabba. And you can see he disappears and then respawns. And I can actually take control of him either or possess him. Which I do right here. And next I make a I, I make use of a new feature that's unique to the complete saga in this respect, that allows you to ride other characters as if they're vehicles. So there you just saw Jabba jumping on. Quigon, and here I spawned a bunch of Darth Vaders and in fast motion here. You can actually stack characters riding on characters riding on characters. So basically I spawned like 20 Darth Vaders and I, here, I was basically stacking them all on top of each other. And now I can have them all like riding on this massive stack. You can't see them all, but they're there. And right there I jump off the first Darth Vader or rather the last one. And then here I actually make use of all the stacked Darth Vaders and basically use it as like kind of an infinite double jump. So I thought that was a pretty cool side effect of the feature. So yeah, basically you can just like nest riders on riders on riders and I thought that that was a really neat feature. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want to see more updates on the project. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Later!